Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 17th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a pause. Um, just the market took a breath as we wait on the FOMC today. Um, so how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle in, and let's see if we can get some information out of these uh, technicals and chart patterns today as we move forward for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. Yesterday might have been a little bit of a frustrating day as we just kind of chopped around. Um, had a little bit of a pop and drop on the day, a little bit of a pullback, but there really was no momentum for the sellers. The buyers just seem to languish a little bit, but we did have some bright spots in the market as well. It's gonna be a real interesting day today. Um, let's take a look at these technicals, see what we can figure out. If we, if we take a view here of our overall trend, our overall trend is certainly very bullish here in the Dow and we have a very, very strong level of price support in this range right here. So even if we were to pull back after, after rising more than 2,000 points in just a week, wouldn't be a major concern if we were to pull back in here. And if we are to consolidate, keep in mind that a consolidation um, remains bullish in a bullish trend and we could consolidate for weeks out here actually and it really wouldn't hurt um, the chart at all. So looking pretty good here on the Dow. Let's take a look at what we've got going in the SPY. Now on the SPY, we have just a little bit more tenuous situation um, in the price action. It's not terrible, it's not bearish, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm thinking bearish here, but there is a reason for just a tiny little bit of caution here in the sense that we are holding just right there on that price support trend remains bullish we're holding right there but you can see how quickly we could shift this we could get a nice bullish move um, in this um, with today's uh, data we could pop right off of here and that could be an extremely bullish looking chart however at the same time you can see it really wouldn't take that much to push this down here and lose that support and potentially lose this trend as well. That could be a little bit of a problem. So we're a little bit um, on the knife's edge here when we look at the SPY. Now yesterday's price action left behind a little bit of an indecisive candle. Nothing major there but it will be important depending on how this follows through. Keep in mind that if we were to have, uh, the, here's our current pre-market candle, if we were to have a candle show up today um, that looks something like that, that constitutes an evening star pattern here on the chart. Um, let's hope that that doesn't occur because that would be a potentially bearish pattern that could push us on down. So watch that closely and carefully today. I think we're really going to be um, on pins and needles for a while as we wait for the FOMC. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ left behind probably the most concerning pattern out there in that we rose up, we rose up sharply here and you can see we popped right into that price resistance and I mean almost to the penny. We started to pull back from that place. Now, we ended up the day closing just right there at the 50 day moving average. Our 50 day moving average is right there. We, uh, we ended up closing on that 50 day moving average, just holding barely, but we all know that that shooting star pattern is not exactly a warm and fuzzy pattern in the market. And as you can see, the pre-market here has the NASDAQ moving lower. Um, remember, this pre-market candle will not form this way. It'll show a gap down and open here. But let's notice that this pre-market candle right here, this pre-market setup, is an evening star pattern. And what's going to be really, really important today is how we follow through on the NASDAQ. Do we follow through to a downside move 
which could raise some concerns and raise those eyebrows a little bit and bring a little bit of fear back into the market or will Jerome Powell be able to calm the waters and still everything and bring those bulls right back in if this would were to reverse and come right back up uh, no harm no foul we could have a very bullish look to this chart and holding on to that 50-day moving average would be important here's what I'm talking about this right here is a very common pattern a pattern that we call the blue ice failure and it is when we see um, a market break down below its 50-day rally back up. Notice that we've created a resistance zone here as well with our shorter term moving averages already below that 50-day. And if we were to fail here, that could be a substantial issue. You can see we did it over here, broke through, rallied back above, and then boink, uh, made that new low. So if we were to fail here, that could be a critical thing for us to pay attention to. Doesn't necessarily mean we have to make a new low. We could retest these lows. We could make a higher low, um, but we definitely want to be paying attention to that because it could bring some fear into the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, a little bit more than the other markets. We saw a little bit of softness coming into the financial sector, and we also saw oil sector stocks pulling back yesterday. So for the first time in quite some time, those two very, very strong sectors saw just a little tiny bit of selling, a little tiny bit of weakness. Now, let's notice that if we take a look at our trend here, depending on how you draw this, you could draw this really tight up here, you could draw this off of here. We're testing that trend here as resistance or that possibility that we are still below that um, tighter upside trend. It is important to note that we are holding right onto some price support, however. So as long as we can hold in there, we're in pretty good shape. Once again, it's going to be very, very critical how this follows through. If we were to follow through, you can see how quickly and easily we could maybe break this support to the downside and maybe even threaten the upside trend. If Jerome Powell can um, calm the waters again and turn this right back around, we could have a very bullish pattern holding right off of that support. So boy, we're really standing on this knife's edge where anything is possible technically. Watch those charts carefully today and remain very focused and flexible in your trading. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Our VIX had some really good signs yesterday in finally attempting to break down. But unfortunately, we saw a little bit, right at the end of the day, a little bit of that rally back. And so we really technically just held on to it. Um, we ended up closing just below a 20 handle. That's the first time we've seen that in quite some time. And that is a good sign, but unfortunately this morning we have some issues uh, maybe raising some concerns with this FOMC um, and who knows he he may be able to walk this care so carefully and thread that needle and do a great job here and we continue to see that fear falling off if that fear spikes up though that would be a critical thing bouncing off of this price support so just kind of keep an eye on that then let's take a look at our t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio the new high new low ratio um, you can see did suffer a little bit of selling yesterday but it really wasn't uh, much for momentum to the downside but there is some good news in that and the good news is this opens up some more upside opportunity if Jerome Powell can calm those waters we could certainly see that starting to move back up and that opens that door for a little bit of bounce back but we also have to recognize that we still have a big open hole in here that we could drift into if those sellers come on so watch that carefully and closely anything is possible here and i think we're going to have to stay really focused and be very very flexible today as this data comes out let's also take a look at um, a couple other things i'm, I'm going to skip t20 101 today and let's look at TNX. T 
TNX is a 10-year treasury yields. And what we're seeing this morning, 10-year uh, treasury yields, this is not a pre-market candle here, but 10-year treasury yields um, are hitting 13-month highs this morning ahead of the FOMC. So that's adding that complication where Jerome Powell is really going to be trying to tiptoe across a tightrope between inflation and economic recovery. And it's going to be a difficult task today for him to thread that needle. Um, so it, we're going to really have to um, uh, watch this closely and be very careful. Remember the last time Jerome Powell spoke, the market dropped 600 points. So um, it's going to be an interesting situation for the market indeed. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is really what we've been talking about here this morning and where the pressures lie. But it's not just Jerome Powell that could create some pressure. Remember, we saw yesterday and largely ignored it. It was kind of amazing to me that we ignored a major miss in retail sales. We had um, industrial production numbers that were not good. And the housing market index was not good. And we largely ignored it um, um, in favor of all the money printing. Now this morning we have housing starts and permits and we have seen housing starting to struggle just a little tiny bit um, with the threat of interest rates going up and um, honestly building costs are just through the roof. Housing prices are crazy high right now. So that could be an interesting number this morning. We'll want to watch that um, just before the open. Um, how that reports could have a, an effect on um, how we deal with the with the morning here heading in toward that FOMC. And then of course we have the petroleum status number and with that little bit of pullback we saw in the oil sector, that may be an important number to keep an eye on. If there's a build in supplies, we could still see more weakness coming in. If there's that drop in supplies or surprise um, miss on that, we could see um, um, that bolster those oil sector stocks. So keep a close eye on that. And then, of course, the Fed FOMC at 2 p.m. Eastern and the Fed Chair Press Conference. We can expect a lot of volatility um, around that um, those statements. So watch that close. It's going to be a very interesting day. Let's take a look at our economic calendar, or excuse me, our earnings calendar today. Now, our earnings calendar has... Um, well, we, we've got about 65 companies on the calendar, but it's interesting lately we've been seeing an awful lot of small cap calendars, uh, small cap companies on the calendar with unverified reports, meaning that they haven't confirmed when they're reporting. So they've been sliding those into um, different days. But I did pull out some notables, a few more that I want to cover today in the video. So if you want to catch the full list, make sure you can click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the blog and you can get the full list. A few of them I want to bring up. Um, Cintas. Cintas is one we might want to keep an eye on. You can see Cintas has been trying to get a little bit of bullishness coming into it. We've struggled, but there's a downtrend break and we could be holding it as a price support in here, depending on how those earnings come out. A little bit of price support right in there. It'll be interesting to see. We could take this one way or the other, depending on that earnings report. How about some of these little retailers? Um, Five Below has been holding up really, really strongly, as you can see, um, really moving up um, uh, and in lots of these little retail sectors right now. And you can see challenging a price resistance in the chart. It's going to be interesting to see how this works out. We've got this little rising low, so we've got this ascending triangle here that we may want to keep an eye on. If they can report well, we could continue to move on out and keep an eye on other um, retailers like KSS, UAA, um, uh, Macy's, all of those have been doing really well, like Gap Stores and AEO, um, Abercrombie Finch. Um, keep an eye on those um, as we get some of these retail numbers. They could also affect those other stocks that have been doing quite well. Then take a look at LE. LE is another retailer here that we want to keep an eye on. It looks like it's gapping up this morning. 
looks like we got positive earnings reports on this. Pushing on up, breaking through some resistance levels and holding good report. Um, LE could help lead those retailers higher. So keep a close eye on that. How about ZTO? Was the last one I'm going to mention this morning. ZTO might want to keep an eye on. This has been in kind of an ugly little pattern here. As you can see, we've got this head and shoulders top. Our neckline is in here. We've broken down and we really have not been able to rally back above that downtrend. So it's going to be a critical report here today whether or not ZTO is going to recover that downtrend or if we're going to seek out the next level of price support here in that chart. Watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that these videos are worthy, if this video is worthy, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I would truly, truly appreciate it. It helps the channel continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. Also, you have an opportunity now, if you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and would like to support this kind of content or, and support this channel, um, below the title of the video, there's a link where you can buy me a coffee. And that, I'm not buying coffee with, with any of those funds, but if you choose to support the channel that way, those will go into camera equipment upgrades and things like that to support this kind of content. So I want to say thank you and a big shout out to those of you that have already supported the channel uh, this way. You guys are awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember that as I point out these stocks, th these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, it is very, very important you do your own due diligence in your trades and watch very, very carefully these potential setups. Uh, make sure you understand, understand the risk of your trade. And it is never, ever a good idea to blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look. I still, even though Disney had a little bit of a pullback, I still like this Disney chart. Now Disney, but you guys know I've been talking about this for a while. I've been watching this as this consolidates in here. And um, it's pretty typical that when we're elevated away from a trend like this, we can see that dip into that trend before we get that opportunity to move up. Now, it really is all going to depend on how the market responds today. Um, are we going to get a good response out of the FOMC or are we going to get a bearish response out of the FOMC? whether or not we're going to hold this price support in here and hold that trend. But I'm still watching this uh, for that potential upside move and think there may be that opportunity that that may still uh, push on through. A couple charts that I think everyone should be paying attention to. Um, some of these um, really old boring stocks, okay, like Kraft Heinz. Kraft Heinz, a incredible bottom has been placed here in this chart. And notice on this weekly, we've been moving up. Now, yesterday, we had just a little bit of a pause in this move. But look at this shorter term trend. We have that opportunity. If the market starts getting a little bit nervous here, we could see some of those big divvy payers really starting to perk up. So keep an eye on this. KHC may have that opportunity to push on through. With that in mind, I think everyone might want to be keeping an eye on AT&T. Now, AT&T certainly has its issues and problems. They're trying to sell their Viacom unit, and that could certainly help a lot here. But notice that AT&T has broken this little downtrend, and we're holding it as support. We had an attempt to surge through the other day. Couldn't quite get her done pulled back, but we didn't really break down. So let's watch this area in here. There is that possibility that um, we could rest here for a little bit and then push on through. Again, a very large dividend payer here in the market. And if we're looking for a little bit of safety, that might be an interesting place to go. Um, I think it would also be a good idea to keep an eye on Intel. 
Now, Intel was one of the underloved stocks this year um, in the market, and rightfully so. You can see they were downtrending. Um, they had some issues where um, Apple quit using their chips and things like that. But notice that Intel is trying to move on up in this trend. Now we pushed on through yesterday. It looks like pre-market, we got a little pullback coming in here. And that's really not a surprise. Anytime we take a look at a trend, just keep in mind, stocks really like to move off of their trend. So if this rests or consolidates over into here, I don't see that as a major problem as long as it doesn't really break back down. But watch that closely. Intel could be one of those um, tech stocks that have that opportunity to help lift the market back up. I still think we need to keep an eye on Starbucks. Starbucks had a beautiful breakout and move here, as you can see, and unfortunately, I didn't get in it. I had a price alert on the chart, and I chose to wait. I'm holding quite a few positions right now, and I chose to wait, and this one just took off and moved um, away from me too quickly, and I wasn't going to chase. So what I want to watch now is for that next rest or consolidation pullback for that opportunity to get in that trade. Starbucks looking very, very good overall in that chart. Um, lots of other charts that you could potentially look at in that retail area. Take a look at like UAA. Now, I actually hold UAA, so I have a bias on this, but UAA has been holding up very, very well. Even though we've been consolidating for quite a period of time here, we're consolidating this big breakout in UAA. This rest or pullback, and I have been mentioning this before, um, I still think there's that high probability that this just could drift over here and before it really goes. But, you know, like we talked today, we've got five below, we've got lands in reporting today. If we got some inspiration in those little retailers, we could really see this take off early. So keep a close eye on that chart. Um, also, KSS has been a really beautiful chart and an easy chart to trade. This is just one of those beautiful trends holding up nicely in here. Keep a close eye on that. If that can hold in here, um, good opportunity maybe to uh, re-engage that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Remember, we're going to have to really stay on our toes today, really be focused in here. Remember, most of the really good news is past us. And what I mean by that, the really good news, all of the stimulus is out there now. Um, we've been anticipating, anticipating, anticipating that, and now we may have to deal with the ramifications of all that stimulus, that being the possibility of inflation. So today we're going to have to really stay on our toes and focus in carefully on this price action. Be careful not to become complacent. Anything that rises, anything that rises the way we have seen this market rise, the Dow raising well over 2,000 points in just seven trading days is one of those reasons why we have to pause a little bit and either rest or consolidate, pull back maybe even. And if we happen to get some uh, bearish um, thoughts or things starting to stir up in the market of possible inflation, we could see that pullback accelerate. So don't become complacent. Watch that closely and protect your capital. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. And hopefully, hopefully Mr. Powell walks that tightrope perfectly today. Have a good one, everyone.